Hi everybody, welcome along to our Saturday live event, our Saturday live event. Um, it's been a busy week for me this week, I've been making some of these little um, trifold envelope trifolds. I'm really enjoying making them. Um, they come together quite quickly, relatively quickly anyway. Um, and I've popped them in my new shop, more about that later. Uh, this is the one we were doing with the Lorna Taylor wallpaper set. And I just love these images. I really, really love them. They're gorgeous. Uh, they're so evocative of the period, you know, 40s, 50s, that sort of uh, era. Anyway, so we've got the entire thing covered with papers of our choice. So now the next thing to do is... On the outside goes an envelope which is wrapped covered in paper and wrapped around and we have choices what we can do with it. I've, I've selected this envelope. You could select any envelope you like um, provided I would say that it doesn't stick out over here. This is the one I've chosen and it covers most of that to be honest. You could get away with a much smaller one. This one um, for curiosity's sake, measures 20 and a little bit centimetres by almost 14, or in old money, that is uh, almost eight by almost five and a half inches. So it's that sort of measurement that we're looking for. But as I say, smaller would, would do, smaller would be fine. It would just cover up less of your front, which isn't a bad thing because we've selected that paper because we really like it. So I hope you're all doing well uh, and keeping well. I know some of you aren't and you're in my thoughts. Um, but keep your chins up and let's just concentrate on doing some lovely junk journaling and not thinking about anything else for the time being. So what we need to do is, well, ink around there really. I've chosen this, which is, I'll call it pearl for want of a better better name. It sort of matches with the ink that we've already used. So I'm just going to quickly ink around there. Lynn Whitman sent me some of these makeup brushes, the brushes that I use for, for the ink, except these ones have got coloured handles, which is so blinking handy because then, of course, you know which you've used for what. I haven't been into these yet, so I don't know what they feel like. I don't know what sort of job they do, um, but let's get into these. I can only thank you, Lynn. I'm, uh, I'm very grateful to you, and I hope you're feeling better. Let's do a roll call before we get to Let's these. do a roll call. Terry, sweet bee. Hi, Terry. Jean. Hello, Jean. Sandra. Hello, Sandra. Mabel. Hi, Mabel. Roz. Hello, Roz. Kathleen. Hello, Kathleen. Sharon, please. Hi, Sharon. Smiler. Hello, Jania. <laughs> Benice. Hello, Benice. Deborah. Hi, Deborah. Hi, Nanny. <laughs> Hilda. Hello, Hilda. Joan. Hi, Joan. Amanda Roberts. Hello, Amanda. Ellie Dawn. Hello, Ellie. Connie Dunn. Hi, Connie. Jen. Hi, Jen. Possibly Mike, I don't know. Kerry. Hi, Kerry. Shimmery. Hello, Shimmery. Did I say Joan? Yeah. <gasps> uh, Mike. <laughs> Hello, Mike. <laughs> Miranda. Hi, Miranda. Julie. Hello, Julie. Jan Ann. Hi, Jan. Helen Adams, did I say that? No, hello, Helen. Leslie M. Hi, Leslie. If I've missed you, shout out. Hello, Bonnie. I can see oh, you. Oh, Bonnie, I've missed Bonnie. Right, so let's have a look at these nice, exciting new brushes. Oh, oh, they feel so soft and gorgeous. I'm going to try them with this uh, Cosmic Shimmer Chalk Blending Ink, which is what we were using 
for this and it's in the colour Cozy Clay. Sometimes these pick up loads, sometimes they don't pick up any. So we'll just see what happens. Oh, it's picking up just a perfect amount. Oh, oh I might have to get some more of these. They are doing a perfect job. Oh, that's wonderful. All the ones that Hilda had previously got me have been assigned to colours. Um, so they're all, although not in daily use, they are all in use because they've got a distress colour assigned to them. So, oh, hello. What's going on? Something falling down? Don't know what. Can't be that important. Well, it could be, actually. It could be anything. Could have been me. No, unless you were here. You never know when I lurk under your desk. <laughs> I know the dog does and the cat does, so it's no great surprise if you did. That's just, that's perfect, that. Um, thanks so much, Lynn. It's really nice of you to send me those. And all the other lovely goodies that you sent. It was like Christmas Day. So sorry about the inking, guys. I really, you're dead right. I could have had this done. The, the brushes from Amazon? Yes, I think so, yeah. They were on my wish list. Um, and Kathy says, this is a side issue. Can you tell me the name of the book you got that was like Edith? It was about a couple who went to live on an island. Yeah. It was a year on somewhere, wasn't it? Yes. I'll see if I can find it. Um, I don't think I've seen it of late. I came across it not long ago. Not long ago, it might be in in here in the in um, this bo bo tray here called Edith Holden. Luke. I think that's where I might have seen it. Actually, uh, yes, yeah, blimey, <laughs> that's incredible. <gasps> right, so here we are. You're just yeah, that's the book. Island, a diary of a year on Eastdale. Eastdale. Goth and Vicky Wait. No, I'm Vicky Wait. There's a B ISBN if you can catch that if you take a screenshot. There you go. Right, so back to the problem in hand. Well, it's not a problem, is it? Itch, itch. Ooh. Um, I'm going to stick this down. So what I'm going to do. So then we no longer have an envelope. Well, we do. It's just we have a stuck down envelope. I don't want that quite near the edge, otherwise it will interfere with what we're going to do later. Right, so just stick that down like so. Right, now we need to cover it back and front. Um, I'm going to make the side with the with the did have the flap the inside, um, not for any reason because you won't see it once we've got paper on it. But I have printed out another couple of pages because uh, we needed them. This these are the remnants from um, the the original papers are printed out. That, that would go on there actually. That's too small. This one. Yeah, that one would go in there. I quite, I quite like the idea of having that on the back of the envelope, so I might leave that out. These are ones that I've just printed out. Um, a hydrangea, I'm guessing. That, that would look quite nice there, wouldn't it, with that on the front? Mmm, that's nice. Oh, I must tell you. The postman came today and he brought something absolutely fabulous. Those of you that know me will know that I do have the Edith Holden CD, which is full of Edith Holden imagery. Um, and I use it a lot. But today the postman brought me this, the Royal Horticultural Society collection. And it's by Joanna Sheen. It's made for paper crafters. And it's three 
CD-ROMs, that'll show you how old it is, uh, of gloriousness, <laughs> botanicals. I mean, they're just fabulous. Um, Mr. F is in the process, because we've got a Mac, so it's not quite as straightforward, um, of sucking all the images off and putting them on, on a stick so I can have them on my MacBook. Um, so you will see these appearing fairly soon at a channel near you. <laughs> So I'm delighted with that. Absolutely yes. delighted. Hi, Elaine. I'm just extolling your uh, virtues of, uh, well, actually, the brushes that you sent me. And I've just used one and it was absolutely fabulous. Just to ink around here. Just perfect. So um, I'll keep those for the correct colours. So I know instantly which one is which. Because I was saying I did get some of Hilda, but they've all been assigned so I was really grateful to get those. Uh, and I like them so much, I might just go and order myself another set, actually. So we're just auditioning papers for this envelope to go on the front. Um, that's nice, isn't it? Oh, I can't get past flowers. Honestly, I just can't. What What would that look like? Vicky says hi. Vicky? Vicky, 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 Hayley Rosser. Hiya, Haley. Thanks Vicky, for Vicky. Vicky. Haley Rosser. Oh. Haley Rosser is the surname. Oh, hello and welcome. Very yeah. welcome. I could put that on and it would go really well with that. And in fact, that is what I might decide to do. I mean, that would look gorgeous. Oh, just give me a bit of decision in my life. Not that, decided that. Not that, decided that. So the, the choices are that. It's a bit plain, isn't it, really? In the bin. Not in the bin, it's not going in the bin, it's just going in the box. This, which would look lovely. This. <laughs> no, I'm not going for that because there's no blue on here. Or this, which is the same tones. Should we just do that and be sensible about it? Yeah, okay. Okay. And I'm going to put that on the back. Or do I want that for the tags? Well, was, I'll worry about that in a minute. I can only worry about one thing at one time. Um... I just want, there's almost a border down there which I want to cut off so I'll just measure my length those of you that used to <coughs> make cards and do mats and layers that's exactly what we're doing here we're just making a mat to go there and I just want it in from the edge just a little bit so out right there right so let's cut that <laughs> it's ridiculous when you can't see the marks you've made, isn't it? That is definitely the mark I made. Are you brewing up? Is that what I hear? I am brewing up. Ah, have you selected your treat for the day? Oh, yes. Oh. One from the top five. Really? That Sue's been paying attention. Oh, okay. You should know you bought them here yesterday. Um... Okay. Oh, yeah. I think I know. But I won't spoil the surprise. <laughs> um, those of you that haven't been following me very long wondering what on earth I'm doing with this square ruler, it's a quilting ruler, and this is a rotary cutter, and the two go hand in hand. And I like to use them because you can square up with your mark. You can get squared up along using the lines to get squared up along the bottom. Use the lines to get squared up along the side. And then you know that whatever you're cutting has to be straight, um, which for me is a good thing. I'm going to cut off along here first. Otherwise, I'll be cutting my mark off. So I line it up with my mark. Then I line it up with one of the lines on the bottom. I line up the side. And then it's simply got to be straight. It can't not be. So assuming I put the marks at the right place, 
<laughs> which is always a question of course um, so it's just a smidge I want off here just to get rid of that what looks like a border I'm not sure it is but I don't want it I don't want it on my envelope okay let's see then well I think you could say that's not bad not bad at all. I might just take another little smidge off that edge. Let's just check that straight. Yeah, it's perfectly straight. I'm blaming the envelope. I'm blaming the envelope, but I'm just going to take really nothing, half and nothing off here. Well, those of you that um, follow us and that are members of the Miss Paint-A-Lot Junk Journal group will know that I have had my schoolmistress hat on this week. <laughs> Big style, honestly. Um, we've made some new rules um, because we have an admin now. We have the lovely Deborah, who is our admin over the water. And we were asking her to be an admin without actually having any rules to follow, which is just ridiculous. Um, so not only that, but there was some sort of um, posts appearing that, that aren't what we're about. Let's just say that. So um, we thought it was time. I mean, we're almost at 500 members, which is kind of incredible, really. Um, and so we now have rules. They're not awful rules. They're not draconian in any way, I don't think. Um, and they won't affect... <laughs> they won't affect anybody, really, that's on the group, I don't think. Um, it's just for new people coming along so they know that know what we're about, know what they can do, when they can do it, etc., etc. So um, that was that. Um the other thing, other big post on there at the minute is if you want to be on the rack list or the birthday list, please add your name and address uh, before Monday. And then on Monday, we'll go on and we'll add everybody who uh, wants to be added. Yuck. Glue. Oh, curse of the junk journal, wouldn't you say? Right, so we'll just get some glue on the back of here. Oh, thank you. Get the feeling that the snack is about to be revealed. Ellie's had two guesses. Has she? What's she guessed? Crunches and then chewy nuts. Wow! How much attention does she pay? Congratulations, Ellie. You are the most attentive. There you go. One of Mr. F's top five. Today's snack is brought to you by... <laughs> Midget Gems. <laughs> <laughs> not to be confused with fruit <coughs> gums, not to be confused with wine gums, the midget gems. <laughs> Only midget gems will do. Thank you very much. <laughs> Lynn, is that replacing the current rack? No, not in any way at all. Just since the last rack was published, rack list was published, uh, we've had lots and lots of new members. And people message me privately and say, oh, can I go on the rack list? And I always say, yes, I'll put you on tomorrow and then promptly forget. Um, so I'm really sorry for all the people that are, you know, I've, I just haven't got round to it. Um, so no, if you're already on the rack list, that's fine. Don't put your name and address uh, on the list. Same with the birthday list. Um, but if you're not on it and you'd like to be on it, and I'll just reiterate what it says in the rules uh, regarding racks. Please don't join us, join that rack list with the expectation of receiving stuff. It's more the opposite way around, that you want to join the rack list because you want to 
bestow a random act of kindness on someone else. Um, but I'm you know, sure you're all up with that anyway. So I'm going to use this for the back. Look at that. It's perfect width. Wow. That's pretty convenient, isn't it? Um, and I'm just going to mark there. Keep my finger on it, otherwise I'll lose it. I'll cut that down and get that stuck on. I don't think we need to ink around here. I think it would just deaden it. So I'm not going to. Let's just double check that that's okay. Oh, I can't believe that. I can't believe we had a piece of paper that was exactly the right width. And I have pretty much sold out to Collal glue. I, I like it a lot. And I must thank Julie really for um, familiarising me with it. Mr. F had been trying for years probably to get me to use it. And I'd, all, I'd tried it once and just said, oh, it's too wet, it's too messy, can't be doing with it. Um, but, you know, I've got used to it now and I really like it. So, there we go. And you do get a sort of second or two's thinking time with it. You know, you can put it down and move it um, for a little while. Right, let's just get a dry wipe and just mop up the bits. That are excess to our requirements. Although you can roll them up after, um, or you can get your glue rubber out as well. But that's, that's fine, it's looking fine. And I'm just gonna leave it as it is, just for a, a while while we carry on with something else just so it dries up nicely um, before we fold it etc right so what we also need to do is get ready the journal the little mini journal that's going to go in here the uh, paper that's going to go in our pockets and we also need um, a card to go in the did I cut the top yeah we need a journaling card to go in the top there let me just check that that's actually as open as I'd like it to be. I think it is. I don't know where my, where my big bone folder is, but this one will do the trick. Yeah, that's nicely open. So let's just get ready the um, journaling papers that we're going to use. I've laid some out here. Um, coffee stained paper, of course. This is 90 GSM. The, the cheapest copy paper that you get is usually 80 GSM. So this is just step up from that, if you like. It's still thin and it's still paper. It is by no means card. Let's move my coffee out of the way. So let's measure then what it is uh, that we need. We know that we want it A4 width. That's what we've been using all along. So we want it that's the right height for it. We just check that's where it's going to fold there. So let's put this ruler in and it comes, that's four and a half there, which is just a bit too much because that folds there. Yeah. So maybe four to err on the side of safety. That's going to bring it to there. That's going to fold in there. So yeah, I think four. So, of course, it's four to there and then four out again. So, eight inches. Oh, did you inches? Oh, Dixie. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Claw, bring them back. <laughs> oh, dear me. I mean, you only have this sort of hour occasionally with him. This is my life. Right, so I'm just squaring those up. There's four sheets. I'm just squaring them up so I can cut them all off in one go. Might have to move that out the way. So I want it eight inches. So 
that's where I'm going to cut it at 8 inches. Square up along the bottom, square up along the edge and we're good to go. These make lovely little journals for other places so don't um, don't throw those out. They're a valuable asset. So let's fold these up. So I've got to do them so I might as well do them now. Try and get them square. Oh, there's my big bone folder. How did over there? What were you doing over there, Bony? He doesn't know. He said. We had snow the other day. Um, it was kind of unexpected. Just went to bed. No snow. Got up. Snow. And we haven't had any since. So it's all gone. It's all disappeared now. Um, but it was quite a wintry scene for a while, which reminds me, I need to get on with my winter journal as well. So many things to do, which is good. I like having lots of things to do, I like being busy. But there's cricket on the telly. <laughs> there's always cricket on the telly, isn't there? Right, I've got this music book. And it really is an old, old music book. I've used the cover long since ago. Um, but this is the colour of it. I haven't coloured it or anything. This is just the colour. And it's gorgeous. The thing. I was walking down the beach one bright sunny day. I saw a great big wooden box floating in the bay. I pulled it in and opened it up. And much to my surprise... Oh, I discovered right before my eyes. Oh, I don't know. That's the end of the verse. So I don't know what he discovered. We'll never know, will we? But I'm going to use a piece of it because I love the uh, I love the look of it. I'm going to fold it that way, and it might be just a little bit too wide, but it'll get sorted soon. Are you all right? Yeah. What are you up to then? Where are you going? Standing up, moving around. Oh. And I also have this um, Collins, the world. I mean, what more do you need? You've got the world. And I've just been using pages out of, out of it that I find I quite like. Um, where's that China? Oh, heck. I don't know these places. Germany, getting slightly more local, Belgium, Holland, oh yeah, let's do that, we have some Dutch members, now what I have been doing is cutting out the map part, and I think I'll do that again, because I quite like it when it's just the map, I could do it with my quilting ruler, I'm just going to whiz round it with scissors, and we all know that means it's not going to come out straight. There's been great activity in the Mr. F camp. I don't know quite what it is he's preparing for Monday for his uh, take five. But it seems to involve quite a lot of stuff. So stuff that has never seen the light of day since I finished my degree. So... Um, I really, I can't even hazard a guess what it is. But he keeps coming in and I I raise my eyebrows quizzically and he says, nothing. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. What, 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 what? Your take five. Oh, yes, I've been tardy again this week. It'll be on Monday. I just say you keep coming in and I keep raising my eyebrows and you've got nothing. So I have no clue what's going on. Right, so makes two of us. I could fold it that way or I could fold it that way, in which case it might be a little bit too wide. I'm going to fold it that way, I think.
Holland, Zyder Z. Uh, Frisian Islands, Utrecht. Ooh, there you go. Sandy region with sheep. I don't know if that's a person or what. <laughs> uh, so I'm just going to use one of these. They're white on the back, but I'm not uh, worried about that. It's just, it's journaling, isn't it? I got these from the range. They were 99p and there's 52 of them. So if you're into planning your week, I could recommend them. <laughs> Personally, I need more than a, I need more than a weekly planner. I'm going to fold this in half. And yes, I'm aware that it's too big, but it'll all get sorted eventually. Michelle says hi. Hello, Michelle. Thanks for joining. Right, and the only other one I've got is my uh, double cash bookkeeping thing. This. So I've started in the middle. So I can. Oh, look, there's a separate page. Perfect. That's all going to come sliding down soon. So I'm going to fold this this way as well. And then I'm going to make my journal up. Oh, well, I thought actually that I would um, put a bit of the design paper around the front of it. I think that one possibly. I think it goes that way. I think they fall down. Oh, I don't Blame, I don't know now. Do they go up? Or do they fall down? I, I think they fall down. That looks unlikely to be up. So yeah, we'll go with that. So I want this to be cut off at eight inches. Uh, and then it'll form a cover. Come on, get going. Come on. Get going. Don't seem to have much enthusiasm today and I am enthusiastic I can tell you I love this little journal so I'm going to cut that off at eight and that's going to be kind of the cover if you like for the the journal right so it needs to get folded as well and then we can make our little journal up I think I will just ink around that. It just looks like it needs inking around. Anyway, I love my new brush, so it's an excuse, isn't it? This uh, Cosmic Shimmer Chalk Blending Ink is different to the Ordinary Blending Ink. And the difference is, like the Distress Ink is to the Oxides, you could add water to this and it would go into sort of like bubbles. Um, whereas the ink reacts differently to water. But I'm just using it to uh, age around the edges, so it doesn't really matter. There we go. That's that's just going to be in the middle there, so I think we'll be all right. Let's have a drink of coffee. I hope you've all got your coffee. Hope you all were up early enough to get your coffee made. Right. So let's see. First thing, maybe a piece of coffee stained paper. Then the world. That fits beautifully in there. Then some coffee stained paper, then the ledger, which is miles too long, then some coffee stained paper, then some music, then some coffee stained paper. So for all it's just a little journal list, it's quite it's got quite a lot of stuff going on in it. And then that. Okay. So my coffee stained paper won't all be lined up in here. Because I've just 
randomly put it in and that's fine because I don't want it all to look uh, too regimental so I'm pushing this in as far as I can get it into that uh, fold there and I'm just literally going to cut off everything above it below it and to the side of it so I'm using the cover as my marker You could be more exact if you cut your coffee stain paper, put all your coffee stain paper in first and then added things bit by bit. But I quite like, like the idea of my coffee stain paper being um, random heights. And then down the side, just for the sake of tidiness. So using the cover as my guide down there everything gone I think so yeah there we go so we've got a nice tidy little journal there with all our inclusions and you see the coffee stain paper hasn't come to the bottom there that's fine and there it's even shorter so yeah I like that I mean you can you could move them around within the within the journal if you wanted to move that down a little bit move all that up um, it's up to you play play as you wish but there we're ready now to insert that when it comes time to insert it which isn't now. It's not now. We've got other things to be adding on. Right, then, back to this. And this, which should be nice and dry by now. So what I want to do is, this is the envelope, this is the top. I want to just slice a very thin piece off there. Just a weeny little piece, hair's breadth. So off the envelope, and you should still have a, a nice space before your um, design page kicks in. So now we've got a pocket. <laughs> but we won't have it that size for very long. That's the back. It's all looking very nice. Goodness gracious, what's going on? So I want to fold this in half. And I find if you just fold it, the back paper gets creased. So I'm just sort of persuading it to fold, if you like, like that. And then get it squared up each side onto there. Hold that firmly. Take your bone folder and just run it round down the inside just to persuade it to fold there. And there we are, not a crease to be seen. But if you don't go through that rigmarole, you end up with the inside bit being creased and bumpy. So there we are, that's fine. I like that. So this now has, no, has to be attached to this on the outside. Oh, it's going to look pretty, isn't it? So what we need is the sewing gear. Um, so the thread and the needle and a pokey tool, which I have here. So let's thread the needle first. That's probably the easiest bit. I'm just using crochet uh, perlay, I think it's called. I think Mr. F got some at some stage in a from a auction or something like that. And I like it. It's very strong, but it's thin uh, and it doesn't fray at the ends or anything so um, I like using it. I have got it in turquoise and purple as well. I've never found the occasion to use those. Right so this is there so you have to decide where you want it. I want it just up a little bit from the bottom about there I would say. Now here is a bit of a leap of faith 
get something that's going to protect your mat just in case you go th through the wrong place now knock those together as tightly as you can and I'm just going to take the end off my thing first. I'm going to say that I think that's about half there. Right? About there. And I'm going to push my pokey. Fold it down like this and push your pokey stick straight through. And you will come out the side. You will. Right. Now I need to gauge where the bottom is. And I want to be about half an inch in from the bottom. Something like that. So same procedure. Oh, that's higher up than I thought it was going to be, but that doesn't matter. It's fine. It's only holding this envelope on. <coughs> Excuse me. So that's that. It's about an inch in. So I need to be about an inch in here as well. So I need to be about there. Mm. I think that's going to be about there. It'll be all right on the night anyway. Oh, that's not too bad. There we go. Right. So you must be sick of watching me do this by now. I've done this a million times this week. So in through the center. Get your end of your uh, cotton or string or twine, whatever it is you're using, and just clip it up out of the way. But that will stop it pulling through. Right, so now we're going in through this bottom hole on the uh, envelope. You can plainly see where it is. And in through the, just pull that out. It just makes it easier to do it this way. And in through this hole here. Just pull that, not really tight, but just a bit. Taut, let's say, should we say taut? And out through those two top holes. And then you just want to come back in through that center hole again, like so. And that's it. There's nothing more complicated to it than that. So you needn't make it more complicated. You needn't work yourself up into a frenzy <laughs> thinking, I've got to do a three hole pamphlet stitch. It's easy peasy. The more you do, the more you'll get uh, familiar with it. And you'll think, why was I, <coughs> excuse me, ever afraid of doing this? Um, I know I was too. But, you know, maybe one of the best things, just getting my lid on my ink. One of the best things you can do is just keep taking bits of card and practicing. And it'll just all become so apparent. That coffee's really nice today, thank you. So let's just make sure that we've got this as tight as we can get it. You don't want to tear the paper, but you do want the threads nice and taut. So just feel them on the back, make sure they're taut, that's it. Then you want one, the end you started with on one side of that long stitch, the end you finished with on the other side, Let's just cut this off because it's ridiculously long. And then you need to tie a knot over that string. So I'm going to tie two, one one way, one the other, and then I'm going to cut my ends off. Like that. And that's, that's that stuck in. Sammy says hi. Hi, Sammy. Nice to see you. Thanks for joining. Right, so Gunny the, says hi. who Gonny? Gunny. Hiya, Gonny. Thanks for joining. Right, so the next thing we want to do is sew this big signature in. And Jim wants to know if I put Bailey's in your coffee because you're so good today. <laughs> good. I don't. Know. I've, I feel like I'm just giving you information today. Not. Not really exciting in any way. I don't know how I normally I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> Your delusions are grand, you know, aren't you? <laughs> Elevated yourself to the exciting level. Yeah. <laughs> look, guys, look what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm putting this in so that V 
the fold is as close to that V as I can and I'm pushing, pushing, pushing all the way along. And when you're happy you've got it tight, then just clip it. I'll just say that Susan's just popped on. Susan Hall? Yes, normally she's in the background, she's always watching, but she likes to keep quiet. All right. She's just saying a prize arrived this morning. Oh, great, Susan. Well deserved. And thank you so very much. Thank you very much for um, joining in with the group. I, I appreciate it, really, I do. So I'm, I'm pushing this in as tight as I can into that um, V in the middle and I'm clipping it down. And really, if you haven't got clips, I think it's a good it's a good time to get them because they really do come in useful. Um, you know, every time I saw a signature in, which seem, I seem to have sewn a lot in this week, um, you use clips. So... Where did we get these? Were they from the pound shop? No. Which what? Who, who the now? red clips. Where did they uh, come from? They were ten for a pound in the pound shop. Ten for a pound. I love our pound shop. It's excellent. That's pretty much my upper spending limit, really. <laughs> I bet you didn't get that botanical CD ROM for a quid. You're right. It was ninety nine pence. Ninety nine p. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I could tell you it cost more, of course. You could. And then spend the money on my own treats or something. But no, I'll be honest. Right, look, guys. <laughs> Concentrate on the journal. Th this end, it, you know, it's it needs clipping out the way. So you've got all your papers clipped. Just clip that end under there. And we're going to do exactly the same thing that we did for sewing on that little um little journal that we've just envelope that we've just stuck on so i'm putting my ruler in the middle down that fold line and it measures top to bottom eight and a quarter so four and an eighth i would say is the middle so i'm going to make a mark right in that v so I'm then going to come an inch in from the bottom and then no I'm going to come a little bit more than that I think I'll come an inch um, inch and a quarter just to make it interesting in from the bottom and an inch and a quarter in from the top making the marks in that V Get your um, pokey tool out and your mat protector, which could be anything, uh, so long as it's just in case you go off kilter, you don't want to be sending this through into your best um, mat. So I'm lining up my pokey tool with that mark that I've just made, keeping it there, keeping it there and folding this over. So it's almost close. It's as close as I can get it. And I'm pushing quite hard because it's got to come through this envelope as well as everything else. There we are. So that's the centre hole made. My pokey tool is just about to give up the ghost here. <laughs> Hopefully it'll see me through this one. Same thing with the bottom one. Put your pokey tool right on that mark fold back until it's as closed as you can get it and then push through straight and Kerry wants to know with all the papers being different sizes how does the stitching work because it, it, it'll it always hold them in the middle because the middle is uh, all the papers go through the middle but if it's too short and the stitch is longer it'll just hold it down flat in position because there'll be one on top of it as well yeah that will be caught you, you might need to um i'll show you when it's finished exactly what i'm on about but i think we'll be all right here i don't think there's anything that's as long as your first page and your last page are full length everything else will get caught up one way or the other yeah so that's through there right could you put some more glue onto that because it can't stand the pressure? Not at the minute, I'm finished now, but just at some stage. Is it pulling out? Yeah. 
So in through the middle, down to the bottom and in through that hole that you can see there, it comes straight out. We've made quite a large hole, I've made quite a large hole, um, because it just makes it easier from the bottom right up to the top. Now I know a lot of you guys know how to do this with your eyes shut, but we do get a lot of new starters on our group. Um, and this is, it's important that they learn this. So which is my envelope one and which is my, that's the one I want. So straight in there and it comes out there. Let's pull it through. So that's it done. There's no more faffing than that. That is it. So take your needle out, put it away somewhere safe because otherwise it'll go on your desk and you never find it again. So let me put all of that sewing stuff in the drawer marked sewing. <laughs> right, so I want to make sure that's tight, tight, and pull up this slack here. These are awkward to get tight because of the envelope on the outside. But just work away at them until you're quite happy that they're as tight as you can get them. And make sure that you have one on each side of your long stitch like that. Just before you tie them, just give them a final, yeah, that's fine, and tie them off in a knot, first of all, so they're not going to move on you. And you can leave them like that if you want to. Uh, I generally just tie mine in a bowl, but it's up to you what you want to do with your ends. That's amused me. Has it? Yeah. That's generally how I leave mine like that and cut, cut the ends off. They've got that double knot in, so we're not going to be going anywhere at all. So there we are. That's that's putting a signature in. And it's not as awful as you might think. So, yeah, this is the front page, which is the full length. And then when you come to, I don't think I've got any shorter pages in here that are shorter. No, I'm sure I haven't. But if, for example, this page ended here, then the long middle stitch, which comes to there, would hold it in. You know, it would be held in flat by the, the long stitch. So you don't need to worry about that. It'll all be all right on the night. Right, so that's pretty much the construction done pretty much. I think sometimes that lies better on top like that. Yeah, that's better. Right, so what we need to do now then is we need to uh, make some journaling cards or tags to go in back and front. Um, oh, dog's being sick. The dog's being sick. Excellent. This is real, isn't it? <laughs> Dogs vomiting. <laughs> oh dear, sorry. <laughs> so I'm just looking through my uh, stocks to see what I could make a journaling card out of. I, I could use those, but they're, they're the same. They just wouldn't stand, stand out. I've got that. That's very pretty and would look nice. Yeah, that's definitely... To think about. I need three pieces. Oh, that's nice as well. Three pieces for the uh, journaling inside. So I've got this one. Those three, is that it? That's, yeah. So I need to keep those three really for the, the journaling pages to go inside. So I'll set them to one side and see what else I've got. Not masses is the answer. Oh, enough. Plenty. Plenty enough. Right, so I would like it to be... Um, I might use this one, actually. I like that. I'd like it to measure... Six and a 
six inches, say, to come up to there. Well, six and a half. Six, <coughs> six and a half. And I'm going to make it two and a half inches wide. That way, then, it won't get involved in this piece, this bit here. So, two and a half by six and a half. So, let's see. I've also got that. Two and a half. Where's the best bit? Mm, it'll be there, actually. Yeah, I think I think it's actually going to be there. So let's slice that off. I'm not going to make the other journaling card with this because it's too white. Too Lona. Lona. Hello, Lona. Thanks for joining. You see, we're using your beautiful uh, grunge, grungy wallpaper kit. Yeah. Make her feel welcome. <laughs> yeah. It's nice of you to join us. Thanks very much. I'm sure you're very busy. Uh, and I'm going to cut another one out of here, uh, two and a half inches. There we go. I must say, Lona, I love the wallpaper sets, and I'm not alone. I know loads of the ladies in this group love them. They're just so evocative of that age. Right, so if that goes in there, yeah. What did I say? I've forgotten now. I want it six and a half. Six and a half, so let's chop these off at six and a half. Six and a half. And then I'm going to back them with some coffee stained card. Well, thick paper, 160 um, GSM. Oh, I've gone through it. There we go. Right got static I think right so let's just get some of this which is as I say it's 160 so it's got a got a bit of something about it I don't need it any thicker than that I don't believe I'm just going to pop those on there and then we'll have our journaling cards <coughs> excuse, <coughs> excuse me froggy came a calling quite want these to dry fairly soon so I don't want masses of glue despite the fact I seem to be putting masses of glue on. So thanks to everybody who's taken part in the take five challenge. It's just honestly I love it. I love to see what you've done. The, the differences um, that we all produce from this sort of basically the same take five things. I've had to get my blinking magnifying glass out this week to check up that everybody's put everything that they should put on it. I feel like a bit like Inspector Clouseau because usually we're sitting in the evening and Mr. F will pass me his MacBook, his lap, what do you call it, iPad, and say, um, oh, look, you know, so-and-so's put something on and uh, it's nice, you know. So <laughs> have a look at it. And then I'll say to him, well, where's... This week it's been where's the stencil? It's a bit like where's Wally, but it's where's the stencil. I think do you have Waldo in the States? Uh, yes, we have where's Wally and they have where's Waldo. Yeah, so the stencil's been a bit like where's Waldo this week. Uh -huh. <laughs> I just want to read out a comment from Taylor and Major Journal. Uh-huh. Your hobby is such a sweetheart reading out the chat. <laughs> and you read that out because you want everybody to know you're a sweetheart. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Flattery goes a long way. Right, so I'm just gonna leave those for a couple of seconds while they um while they dry. And then we can cut them out, ink them up, blah blah. So the other thing that we need also is something to go in here. Right then. 
Let's let's see what we've got left. Increasingly nothing. Um, that might go in there, mightn't it? That's so pretty. Oh, Lona, your kits are just so gorgeous. I love them. That's sort of going the wrong way, that one. I, th I think that might do. I think it'll stand out. What else have I got? I've got this lovely lilac. Mm, I think that might be lost against that. They're so eclectic, these um, kits. And yet, I don't know, they all kind of go together. They're lovely. I quite like that, actually. I'm going with that. I know that some of you are making this and that you've been waiting for today to come so you could actually get on and get it finished. Um, and I cannot wait. I can't wait to see what you've done with this. Um, you know, if you've used Lona's kits or if you've used your own papers or, you know, whichever kit you've used. I just want to see what you've done with it and how you've how you've managed with it. And hopefully that my... <laughs> <laughs> rambling instruction has uh, given you enough to get you get you a completed mini journal right so that doesn't need anything to it it just needs stuck down i think it's about the right length is it going to go on there oh we're having a day today where things just fit that's so unlike me I'm going to tell you this little story. I'm going to stick this on and then I'm going to tell you a story about my mum. It's actually coming quite close to the anniversary of when she died. And so she's on my mind a little bit more than normal, if that's possible. Um, but this is just a, a funny little story. My, my mum, you, you might have gathered by the stories I have already told you, was very prim and proper and almost Victorian, really, in, the, in their outlook on life. Um, my mum didn't swear, you know, went to church, just a thoroughly decent old fashioned woman, really. Um, and so when um, we were away, when we lived down in the south of the country, uh, we used to speak on the telephone every single day and just all about nothing really what she was cooking for dinner and what i was doing etc etc and this one particular day she said that they'd um that she she always had a video recorder and she was terribly proud of the fact that she could make the video recorder work because you know i mean they are they are a bit awkward no doubt about it but she could use the video recorder and she's very proud of herself but she decided that they had so much stuff on the video that she needed somewhere else to put it. And so the guy, um, I'm going back to the days, not that awfully long ago in the countryside, where the salesman used to travel around um, and she called the, the company in this day so she could talk to them about what alternative she might have as to where to store all these videos that she had. And the guy told her um, what she needed and she was telling me the, the story of what he said. And he said to her, apparently, this is what he said to her. He said, you need a hardcore porn. Recorder. A hardcore porn recorder. This is what she said to me. And I said, no, he did <laughs> not say that to you. He didn't say that to you. And she said he did, yes. A hardcore porn recorder. I don't even know where she'd heard that term. She meant a hard disk drive. <laughs> oh my goodness me. Oh dear me. It was just, it was, because it was from her, it's such an unlikely thing for her to come out with, really. A hardcore porn, honestly. Even now it makes me laugh. Um, they did, in the fullness of time, get the aforementioned hard disk drive, um, which had absolutely, of course, nothing to do with hardcore porn. So, yeah, that was my mum. I've been meaning to share that with you for a little while now because it's quite funny. It's 
So I'm just cutting around these the best I can. And everybody knows that I'm useless with scissors. But I'm sure they'll be fine. It's not too bad when you're cutting around something that you've stuck on because you've got kind of edge to go to. It's cutting straight lines out of just paper. Useless. So, has it all gone quiet? Have I frightened everyone off? <laughs> no, we're all going to laugh. <sighs> And Anique just, just joined at an awkward time. <laughs> Did you think you had the wrong channel? Oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. So those are the two that are going to go, uh, I think that one goes that way, in the uh, front envelope. I've just got a little bit of glue on there, so I'll just remove that while I see it. Like that. Uh, and this is the one that's going to go in the back, a uh, larger envelope. So I'll cut that one out too. I'm not sure it's completely dry, but it can't be far off. So there's quite a bit of journaling in this. For all it's uh, small, compact, let's say, rather more than small, it has got quite a lot of journaling in it. And it's nice to be able to choose your three favourite pieces for the... Uh, the journal sheet that gets folded up and popped in the po in the pockets that way then you can display you know the really lovely images off to the best i think right okay so i'm gonna get my punch out that does tag tops and hope it's gonna work I can have two and a half inch wide ones. Slide that all the way in. Look at that. It's like magic. Every time it does it, it's like magic. Ordinarily, I wouldn't be looking for this because I'd be sewing around them. And uh, I wouldn't want to sew around this. Oops. Slightly off centre. Oh, only microscopically so and in a minute I've got another punch to show you but let's see if I can find my credit card or something similar to cut those yeah here we are here's the credit card so I'll just cut the tops of this one off because my punch doesn't go up to this wide you know two and a half is the widest it goes to so I've made a template well Mr. I've made the template out of an old credit card debit card whatever we don't have credit cards so it must be a debit card um, right and there we go then so what I'm going to show you now is magical absolutely totally magical I'm going in the bin to get a scrap of paper or card even better right look at this look what i was gifted in the week by the very lovely julie from camellia crafts designs isn't that lovely what a lovely thing to send someone so i'm going to cut out a couple of who that was just on the edge <laughs> living on the edge i am Okay, where have you gone? Oh, there. <laughs> oh, that was a bit too close to the edge. Oh, as was that one. Come on, girl. That one's all right, I think. I've got two, two that are too close to the edge. I just really want three. So that's isn't that a handy little gadget? Love gadgets. Right, so I need to create a hole in that anyway because I uh, didn't do it on the punch. 
So let's just see where the middle is. It's there. So I'm going to draw myself a circle. Crunch down through that. That's a bit near the edge as well. I don't know what I'm doing to it today on the edge. So I'm going to use the collar that I've decanted into a small precision tip bottle for these. And of course you could, with my new punch, you could use any design you want for these. This is just so close to the blinking edge, honestly. I'd rather mess that up. But never mind. I'm just going to fold it over. No, I'm not going to cut it out. I'll just get my uh, cloth. There we go. And these ones, same thing. Don't need masses of glue, I've discovered. So I could, if I'd wanted to, to cut my reinforcement out of that coral pink, which would have stood out. But I, I like these just in the um, coffee stained paper, actually. And you can make them out of Edith text. I mean, how nice is that? Oh, come on. I love Edith text. It's just, I, I, actually, I probably love it more than the images. And I think that those little reinforcements would look smashing if you cut them out of uh, Edith Holden text. Right, so we're progressing in an orderly direction. Let's just cut that off. That was my fault. Boo boo. Error, whatever you want to call it. So I'm just going to ink round, uh, not that one. I don't think it would help that one, um, but maybe a little bit on the back. That's my fancy new brush. Oh, those brushes. Lynn, thank you so much. I know Flo's away this weekend doing uh, baking cakes. Did you all see that picture that she put on the group of the Victoria sponge? Oh, I so needed to eat it. This is quite a nice colour, actually, this cosy clay, the um, chalk, chalk cloud blending ink from Cosmic Shimmer. I quite like it. Cozy clay. It's it's enough to, you know, say you've done it, but not as dark as like vintage photo or anything like that. Just going to go over the top. A little bit on the back. It's so subtle. It doesn't really show up on the camera due to the light. Oh, the doesn't it? But, but you, you can see it. Well, it's there, guys. I can promise you it's there. Um, just a little bit around here. Well, as if inking wasn't blinking boring enough, <laughs> now I'm inking in a colour you can't see. Inking, blinking. Inking, blinking. Blinking, inking. There we go. Right, just a little dot on the back. For those of you that haven't seen Lorna's, <clears throat> uh, I forgot what you call it now, lap book of Edith Holden. Uh, I mean, it's long since sold, but it's worth going to have a look at. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, so tailor made journals there's a channel on youtube pop over and look for the uh, edith holden lap book that she did it's just phenomenal absolutely <clears throat> right okay so hopefully this will fit into here if i can find a 
find the pocket. Might be a little bit long or perfect, whichever way you look at it. And it's pretty near perfect actually. Folds out like that. Yeah. And we need a little <coughs> excuse me. I've got a frog. So which one are we going to put in the front? This one, I think. So that should just slide down into there nicely. And then on the back, we've got this one here. Uh, Dixie would like to know, when you're inking on the board, does the ink that's on the board transfer to the back of tags or whatever? Yeah, it does. And generally what I do, I've got a cloth, which I don't have to hand. And when I've finished, I just, it's just a bit of kitchen towel. It's nothing fancy. Um, I'll use this bit here. In fact, that might be it. And I, I just go over it like that. So any that's going to transfer, transfers there rather than my dress side, as you might say, my tags, etc. So yeah, in, in, real, in real life, that's what I'd do. And I'd just have that to the side and every time I finish in, can just wipe it off and it, then I know it's good to go. It's not going to come off. Right, okay, so making progress, guys, we're making progress. So the only, well, I'll, I'll fold my papers to go in the pockets because that's exciting because you get to see the full glory of these papers. I adore this one. I mean, that, that is so me. If any of you had to look through all these papers and pick out one that is me, I know you'd pick out this one. It's so delicate and beautiful. I adore it. And I'm so glad that I got that new printer because the images are just loads better. Vicky Doran Pooh. Mm. I've obviously come in at the wrong moment. So we want to fold these into three. So it's kind of just your best guess. I think that's about it there. And can you imagine whoever gets this journal can open these, open the journal up and then when they find these tucked into the pockets, it's like a whole new present. And there's lots of journaling on the back. It's a whole A4 sheet. So we'll do that with all of them. They need to be pretty much thirded, otherwise they're not going to fit into the pocket. Because if you think about it, the envelopes we used are designed to take this paper folded into three. So, well not this paper, obviously, ordinary, A4, or letter I guess if you're in the States. I don't, what do you have in Canada? Do you have A4? Or letter, what which which do you use? The same with this. It's about there, I think. No, it's gone off the straight and narrow. Not for the first time. This one falls over. Right, well, I was going to tell you about the Etsy shop business. So these, just select which ones you want, and they go into these pockets that we made sort of right up at the start. And they slide into there perfectly. Hopefully, yes, that's right. I'm just straightening it up. There we are, so that's one. The second one goes into this pocket. So, you know, all that journaling, which is fine. That's fold line there, so that's well within it. And this beauty, hmm, put it in that way, I think. I'll put it in that way. Goes into this third back pocket there. So there we are. We've got our three lovely design sheets. Um, that all folds up. Might need a piece of ribbon or something on there. 
I might shorten that and put a piece of ribbon on there. Uh, and we need a little journaling card just to tuck into this flap that was created by sticking the envelope down. So what can we have? Well, we're back to, I'm back to these again. I could be not so miserly and print another one out there. I think that's just too white. I'm going to use this one. It's gorgeous. It deserves to be used. So I'm going to cut it. Just get my pencil. I'm going to cut it about there. And quite in from the edges there. So I'll just cut that off and it'll need backed, etc, etc. It's a lot of cutting, a lot of sticking, a lot of inking. And let's be honest, that's what we love. Now we'll need to make a little tag for the front. So um, there, that's my line. So that's about an inch and five eighths I'm making mine. But you know, we could make it an inch and a half or, yeah, actually let's have a look. Should we make it a bit wider? It's going to go into there. Oh, need to make it a bit shorter. I've been a bit overzealous with the uh, glue. Yeah, I think I want it to there, actually. So I'm going to make it to there. And just chop a bit off the length as well. it to there which is now two and three eighths and just a little bit off the bottom as I say I've been a bit generous with the glue I'll try that and see if that fits my little yellow bone folder. Let's investigate the size of the problem here. Yeah, just needed a little bit of loosening I think. Yeah, that slides in there nicely. Fits in nicely with that edge. Yeah, we'll get that stuck onto some coffee stained card. And get that put in. Just need to rub out the mark that we didn't use. Oh, Dixie is just asking, is this going to be for sale in the Etsy shop? Ah, well, yes, it is going to be for sale, but not in my Etsy shop, oddly. Um, Etsy are, uh, they're an expensive way for me to sell, put it that way. Um, and really, there hasn't been much alternative uh, up until now. But then there now is a, a new selling site. It's a bit like tumbleweed blowing through it at the moment because there's nobody uh, really listing anything very much. It's for UK sellers only. But, of course, we can ship to anywhere in the world and take payments from anywhere in the world. Um, and it's called... Made me, M A D E M E, made me .co .uk. and that's where I will be listing this. There is a link to the site below this video. There is also, um, there will also be videos. There may not be a link at the moment, but there will be. Right, okay. I'll add one on. Yeah, so there will be a link for this, but my shop in Made Me is called Miss Paint a Lot. And if you want to go there directly, go to mademe.co.uk slash shop slash miss hyphen paint a lot. But all that all those details will be hyphen. Yeah, don't forget the hyphen or you won't you won't get there. Um all those details will be under the video. And I will post on the Facebook group exactly what's occurring. 
Um, it's just Etsy. I, I sold something earlier this week, and when I looked at the amount that had, you know, actually been credited to my bank, considering, uh, you know, I'd spent over a day making this thing, I thought it's just, you know, it's just not worth it. So um, cast around for somewhere else, and we're going to give um, made me a chance. Uh, they they don't use PayPal. They use a payment company called Stripe, um, which have very good reviews, uh, and they're they're very they're real security conscious, um, which is something that has always slightly bothered me with PayPal. They're such a big site, PayPal, you know. Um, but Stripe, I think it's more common in the states than it is here. But you know they have all my details, and I had no problem giving them them. Um, they work on the principle that the seller never gets to see the um, purchaser's details. It's uh, They're not kept at all, which is as it should be. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to give it a go and see how it works or if it works. So it's quite, um, quite a big change for me. So I'm used to just popping things on Etsy. I'm used to you all being able to find them on Etsy. Um, but like I say, they're just they're just taking too much money. Um, and it's just, you know, it's kind of not worth it, really. Which is a shame. It's a shame for I can't sell my things. So this is the little journaling tag. I'll just wait a second for that to firm up with the glue and in the meantime I'll make something for this tag now I want the tag to be fairly firm where can I, I can use that bit down there yeah. so I'm going to use some coffee stained card and stick that on and then another patterned piece on the back. So yeah, mademe.co.uk and then as I say, my shop is called Miss Paint a lot, obviously. So pop that onto there. But if you're looking to go direct from Google um, or, you know, or in your web browser, it's mademe.co.uk slash shop slash miss hyphen paint a lot. You just spell out made me because it's coming across as make me to some people. M-A-D-E-M-E. -E, made me. Made me. Um, and like I say, I really don't know if it's going to work for us. It might. It might not. But we'll give it a try. You know, I might have to come back to Etsy with my tail between my toes. I don't my legs. I don't know. We'll see. So I'm just making this card sandwich so I can cut out a tag which I want to attach to the ribbon on the front. Just to finish it off a little bit, really. Now, I haven't included any pockets or anything in here. I think that it probably has enough on it already. But when you're doing yours, if you want to add pockets or whatever, you've got to draw enough. Yes. Um, you know, do, do, as, do as you wish. There's always room for embellishment, isn't there? Right, so I'll leave that to dry and then I'll ask Mr. F if he'll uh, cut that probably that way, like that. You'll have to wait for it to dry a little bit. Right, so this should now be dry, so let's just ink around it a little bit and then we can pop it in. Then it's just a matter of ribbons and the like. And we will have one completed Lorna Taylor wallpaper trifold envelope mini journal. There's a mouthful. 
<laughs> I'm glad I've introduced you to the wallpaper though. I really am because I know you'll like it. Um, and like I say, I'd sat on my purchase. I purchased it some while ago actually. Uh, and I'd sat on it for quite a long time, think, just waiting for the right project to come along. And then I thought, uh -huh, I know, this is the perfect thing to show it off. There we are, it's just a hint of a, a hint of a tint. Right, let's see then where we're up to. Let's pop this into here. Oh, that's so pretty. Right, let's see then. So the front, yes, it needs some ribbons or a bow of some sort on there. Um, I'm not adding anything to this, the front of the envelope because I'm going to put a tag on the ribbon. But you could, if you wanted to, you could bejazzle this till your heart's content. Really, you could. It's asking for it, really. Uh, then inside, we've got our journal page with this lovely pocket. Once again, you could put another little pocket on there with a card in if you wanted to. Uh, then we've got our journal. Folding that over. Look at that paper. Oh, my goodness me. Oh, uh, then we've got this pocket with our journaling sheet in. Then we've got this with our journaling sheet in, little journaling card. This envelope here, which has got the big card in it, which I am actually going to cut something off the bottom because it's just annoying me. It's not right. I want it to sit down further into the page. So let's see what I'm going to cut off. Uh, about an inch, something like that. About that. Get it square down the side, otherwise it'll look really cockeyed. So let's see what that looks like now. Yeah, that's better. It sits down there better, I think. I like that more and once again you can decorate this put a pocket in it a little corner tuck with another card in it you know this is where I'm stopping but it doesn't have to be where you stop at all and then as you fold this over here's another plain page I love it like this because I can see the the, the image and I really like that but you could add to it easily and then on the back we've got the other side of that envelope with the card in this envelope just add something to it if you want to in the meantime I'm going to add some ribbons to that that and that ask Mr F if he would kindly cut out that for me can you cut it out like that please thank you um, whilst we attend to the ribbon situation. I think overall it's kind of green and pink. So let's get the ribbon draw out. It's in a bit of a mess, I'm afraid, guys. And see what we've got. I quite like that real acid green. I think that would go nicely there. But then I would, because that's my kind of my colour. Oh, look, another acid green. <laughs> I, I like that. Um, I've got some pink silk, um, I've got some cream, I don't know, I don't know, I think I might be a bit lost, um, I've got some gold, Ooh. no, some bottle green, be quite nice. Mm. No, I'm, I'm going to go with one of the acid green colours. <laughs> There's a shocker, eh? And I'm going to go for the uh, thinner of the two. Just pop that through there. Get 
getting quite chunky now this little journal I'm just going to cut it off about there and that's probably way too much but um, I'd rather too much than thank you very much too much than too little just tie a bow there oh never tie bowls on camera guy guys it's just I'm bad enough at doing this when there's no camera so talk amongst yourselves for the next 10 minutes. Lorna says she's blown away how beautiful they've printed out. Oh, Lorna, my new printer. I'm, I'm, I'm just like totally in love with it. It's an A3 one as well. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'm delighted with it. When I look back at some of the pages that I've got, printed out you know from before I had this printer I think I don't even know if I could use them now I know how pretty I can get them right I think that's okay that's fine just trim the ed ends off at an angle to stop them fraying as we all know Donna says she her husband makes the digital and she does all the uh scanning and editing oh right because they search around for yeah you know stuff yeah. to scan in i guess um anything and needed says, if you're an artist marry tech support she says <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> which is exactly what i've done yeah. well i never bothered marrying him but yeah basically yeah. um keeping your options open yeah i might find better tech support somewhere <laughs> it's true <laughs> I can't deny it I'm going to do this one in green as well there's nothing really green around it apart from like loads there but I don't want to start you know putting different coloured ribbons on things really so I'm just going to thread that through which is going to be easier said than done and just see it it's going to be awkward oh there we go um, I'm going to bring this up just in, just like that so we've got a couple of bits sticking out oh that's probably not what I want actually because it's going to take us over the edge of the journal and I don't want that yeah I bet you're on a never ending quest for um, old stuff receipts and tickets and what have you I can imagine oh come on <laughs> just come on I really don't know why it's so difficult but it would appear that it is I was watching Julie the other day and she has an interesting way of tying bows. I must give it another look actually. So it looked like it was loads better than the way I do it. Right, that's okay. Quite happy with that. Some sharp scissors might help, eh? Lovely, lovely. So we've just got the one on the back to do. You'll be glad to know. <laughs> Get out of this agony. Lorna says the quest for antique goodies is very real <laughs> and addictive. I, oh, yeah, well, yeah, we know about that. We've got a drawer of goodness. Just waiting for the... Um, <laughs> something to happen. I don't know what's going to happen. I love this ribbon, can I just say. And I appreciate it's not going to be everybody's cup of tea. But I really love it. I love this. Is it chartreuse? What do you say this is chartreuse? Acidic green whatever it is it's just beautiful but 
But you're all watching, telling me how I should be doing this. And I can't blink in here, you guys. Right, there we are. That's 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 not too bad. It's not too bad. Quick. Get the ends cut off. Right, okay. Okay, okay, okay. We are, I would say, pretty much complete as far as I'm taking this. As I say, you could go on adding pockets and whatever. Do bear in mind the bulk, however. Is that just a surplus bit of paper? Random, yeah, I think so. I mean, we didn't do too bad with what waste, wastage. We're next to nothing there. Right, so what I'm going to do now is fold the back in like so. Fold the journal and the front cover over and see where I need to put the hole that's going to hold the tag and the the ribbon. I don't want it right at the top because it's going to splay out this bottom end. So I think about... This gets better when you put it under weight, actually. When I've finished, that's exactly what I'll do. I'll put my big shot on top of it. I won't argue with that. Um, I think about the... I think the ribbon coming around there will look fine. So I'm just going to make myself a mark there. Get my uh, crocodile out, set it to the biggest hole, and make your hole. And I'm also going to cut out the hole on the tag because it's too small to get ribbon through it. So I'm just going to cut it out with a bigger hole as well. There we are. And I just want to set an eyelet into there doesn't really matter what colour. Um, that's quite a nice colour for it, I think. A nice warm colour. So put it onto setting eyelets. Put this through your hole. Let's hope I can do this with a bit more aplomb than I managed last week. <laughs> oh my goodness me. Yeah, blimey, that worked okay. Just gonna crimp it again just to make sure. Yeah, it's, it's done, it's done. Right. Nancy says bye. Oh, Nancy, I didn't even know you were here. I didn't even tell me you were here. Thanks so much for joining us. Go and have a rest. Um, I bet your eyes are closing on you. I'm gonna use the wider ribbon which I think is the same colour. I haven't even been into this one yet. And by the look of it they don't want to let me in either. Oh come on. It's ridiculous. Sometimes packaging is so annoying isn't it? However I'm sure it's kept it nice and safe. A little bit of sellotape on there, which I'll cut off. Right, so I want to come from this side, go through that eyelet that we've just made. Through there, through the hole that's in the tag. I'm going to have to persuade with my pencil point. There we go. And leave enough here to tie a bow. Then I am going to go around my journal, keeping it tightly closed. Go around it once, then back again and leave enough to tie a bow. I want my tag out there like that. So hold it as tightly as you can. I 
allowing myself loads. I know that. But... There we are. And just, just says she, who just can't do it for love and money. Tie your bull. <laughs> I feel so uh, cat handed is the expression. No. Could you just stick your finger on there, please, do you think? Thanks. Oh, yeah, that's easier. Okay. Wow, that came out really exuberant, didn't it? Well, there we are. I just I want to leave some of this, but not all of it. So I'll just refresh those edges, cause and guys, there we go. We have completed our little um, trifold envelope journal using Lona Taylor's grungy wallpaper set. So I hope you've enjoyed that. I've enjoyed making it very much. It will be for sale later on today. Uh, as soon as it's for sale, I'll put it up on the um, YouTube group so you can pop over and have a look at it and purchase it if you want to. I'll just remind you that all the funds that we make, we don't go off on Caribbean cruises or anything. We just plow it straight back into the channel. Um, so, it, you know, it's for the benefit of everybody. So. I'm not sure that I'm liking these two colours together. I think they're a bit clashy, actually. So I'm going to take that out. They, they just don't sit well, and I love this one. So I'm going to live with that one. And Never too late to change things, guys, if you don't like things. So I'm just going to have a little bit here. And I'm just going to tie it, I think, with some hemp, twine, whatever it is, this stuff. Um, just a, a little bit. Just to hold it in place. I don't know why I thought that was a good idea to have a paper clip on there. So just like that, and then I'm going to tie it round. That looks better. Much, much more pleasing to the eye. Lona says, it's just wonderful. Thank you, Fiona. You're a sweetheart. <laughs> oh, thank you, Lona. Julie says beautiful, Fiona. Thank you, Julie. And Hugh and Marie says beautiful. Thanks, guys. Sheila Stiles says so pretty. Well, you've watched me do it. Deborah nothing says beautiful. Nothing stopping you doing That's yours. Beautiful. Right, there we are. I will change the other ones before I put it up for sale so they're all matching. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy with that. That's nicer, isn't it? I think so. So we've got our little tag. Um, you could put a charm on that as well if you're doing it yourself. And there we have it. I'll change that ribbon out for this ribbon. But it's lovely. What a lovely little thing. What gorgeous papers. I now own three sets of Lorna's Grungy wallpaper pa uh, pages, full disclosure. <laughs> I can't help myself. I think there's six sets. Please don't bring any more out, Lorna. Um, and I, I, I just know I'm not going to be happy till I've got them all. I think they're really reasonably priced for the amount that you get. Um, and, I, you know, I'm not, this isn't just an advert. I was saying all this last week as well. Uh, they're just great. I love them. So that brings us to tomorrow. And what should we do tomorrow? Well, it's going to be a surprise.
to me, auntie. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody was asking earlier, it might be tell you, what, what, the blue Christmas. Yes, in this drawer. <laughs> uh -huh. I'll just shut it again. Yeah, I'm going to start um, next week. I will have Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday to get on with things um, of, for me uh, or things I want to do, should I say. So the blue Christmas will come in then. And I will video anything that I do that's kind of earth shattering or whatever. There won't be much that's earth shattering. Um, but just making regular pockets and stuff like that. You've seen it a million times. You know, you all know how to do that. So, um, yeah, I'll, I'll be working away at that in the background. But tomorrow I will bring you a nice groovy project, <laughs> which I don't know what it is yet. But we'll see. So thanks for joining me, guys. You really are the best, the best of the best. If you want to have a look at the uh, shop that I've just opened on Made Me, the link will be underneath. Um, it, it Basically, my shop's called Miss Paint A Lot and it's on Made Me dot co dot uk um you can't get confused with all the other shops that are there because there aren't very many yet but you know like i say they're much cheaper for the for the seller um which is a big part of it so i'll see you tomorrow two o'clock behave yourselves until then now jean <laughs> especially you jean <laughs> especially you jean <laughs> keep the rubber side down and uh thanks so much for joining me yeah. Thank you. Bye. Bye. See you tomorrow.